Most black holes that we've found are of two types, formed from a single heavyweight star after its outer parts blew away in a supernova, or the supermassive variety found at the center of galaxies. But there's another kind, weighing roughly a hundred to thousands of times our sun's mass. These are intermediate mass black holes, and finding them is no easy task. Prime hunting grounds for intermediate mass black holes are globular clusters, tightly bound more or less round conglomerations of tens of thousands of stars. Over 150 of them are in orbit around the Milky Way galaxy, mostly in the galactic halo, which contains an older population of stars. There's no way to observe the central black hole of a globular cluster directly, so astronomers look for evidence of unusual motions of stars in its vicinity. Precisely tracking the motions of individual stars in a cluster thousands of light years away calls for an instrument of sharp resolution that operates over a decade or more. The Hubble Space Telescope is perfect for the job. Using NASA's Hubble and Chandra X-ray Observatory, researchers have already identified a number of promising intermediate mass black hole candidates. Some of these are dense star clusters in the outskirts of other galaxies. In 2008, Hubble astronomers announced the suspected presence of an intermediate black hole in the Omega Centauri Cluster, the most massive known globular cluster in the Milky Way, containing about 10 million stars. But the evidence for all these medium-sized black holes remains inconclusive, and only further data will be able to rule out alternative theories. Now, after looking at 12 years worth of observations with Hubble, astronomers have announced that the nearest globular cluster to Earth, M4, lying just 6,000 light years away, may have a black hole at its heart. There's certainly a very dense concentration of matter at the core of M4, weighing about 800 solar masses. It's so compact that the measurements made tend to rule out alternative theories as to what's happening at the cluster center. Among these competing possibilities are a compact central cluster of neutron stars or smaller black holes swirling around each other. The central mass of M4 is about three times smaller than the densest dark mass that had been found before in other globular clusters. It's more compact than what can be reproduced in computer simulations that model a collection of black holes, neutron stars, or white dwarfs segregated at the cluster center. A grouping of close-knit objects would be dynamically unstable. If the central object were not a single intermediate mass black hole, it would have to consist of about 40 smaller black holes crammed into a space only a tenth of a light year across in order to produce the stellar motions that are observed. If they were packed this close together, they'd merge or be thrown out of the core. We still need more data, though, to settle once and for all the question of whether intermediate mass black holes exist. <laughs>